Hey guys, it's your girl Natasha Martinez here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. Get ready because this week's episode is hot. You'll see what I mean as we get into our first story, kicking things off with one of the hottest Latinos in sports. Nacho Figueres is not only the most famous polo player in the world, he also happens to be the face of the Ralph Lauren brand, aptly named, of course, Polo. Nacho, who grew up in the rural Argentina where many of the world's best polo players come from, has made it his goal to make the high-end, often elite sport more accessible to everyone, whether or not they can afford a horse. And up next, we find out what it takes to be a world traveling polo star from the biggest one himself. This is Nacho Figueres only on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Hello, my name is Nacho Figueras and I'm a professional polo player from Argentina. I started playing polo at nine and at the time I liked soccer, I liked tennis, I liked all the sports. I, I knew that I loved sports and that I wanted to be outside and that that's the kind of life that, life that I would like to have. So when I was 14 or 15 years old, I started playing a lot more polo and getting a little bit better at it. So I think it was at around 15, 16 years old that I decided that, that that's what I really wanted to do. The way polo works, it's you get hired by teams for seasons. You don't play for the same team year round. The season in Argentina has is not connected to the one in, uh, in the U.S. and the season in Palm Beach, Florida is not connected to the one in New York or to the one in Los Angeles. So every time we go to a place, we get to play a couple of tournaments there with a team that hires us. Most of the tournaments we play around the world, we play, it's three professional polo players with an amateur player. That is, we call the sponsor of the team. So the guy, he pays for the team and he gets to play in the team. It's a very small group at the top like it is in every other sport. So if you go to the tennis world, there's a hundred players that play all the same tournaments all around the world. The same thing with polo at that level. A good polo player has to have, of course, great riding skills, then hand-eye coordination because you have to hit the ball, which is not very big. It's like this big, it's like, um, think of it like, um, uh, baseball, the size of a baseball, so it's, it takes a lot of, of skill to be able to hit that ball from the horse. My style is I'm not, I'm not the most talented, but I, 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 I play hard, I try very hard. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it hard for you. So that's the way I, I play. I think I'm the most known, it's, it's not complicated. First, because I made it a mission, but I think that the platform for that was my relationship with Ralph. I've been the Ralph Lauren guy for 16 years. So having your face in every magazine and every airport in the world for 15 years helps a lot. And it's been a fantastic um, partnership because I, I get to, my, that recognition allows me to talk about my sport and what I love to do. And, uh, and for them, I, I guess that I bring that authenticity of the real polo player that kind of like represents that lifestyle that the Ralph Lauren brand tries to do. Polo, yes, it's seen as a very elite sport and, and that it's a, that you're not invited and that it is untouchable and what we're trying to do with events like Replico, oh, it's that, it's to show people that polo is inviting, that thousands of people come to the games, 10,000 people go to the one in New York, that there's 300 polo clubs all around um, uh, the U.S. and that those clubs are very inviting and that you can go there and, and take riding lessons and polo lessons. Um, so you don't necessarily need to be rich to play polo. That's what I am trying to, to promote, that, to encourage more people to give it a try, to go do that. <laughs> 